Hi, I'm Tony from Analog Craftsman. We're here at the 2015 NAMM show. Let's check out some of our large format modulars over here. First, we have the random looping sequencer, which takes uh, any clock source and uh, uses it through this pulse here. You can see we can change the clock rate with our tap tempo and have a slower tap here. Uh, each one of these LEDs represents a random voltage that's being output. You have 8, 16, or 32 output steps, uh, which can be completely random, or if it starts generating a pattern that you like, you can turn it over there and lock it. You can output voltage from 0 to 10 volts, uh, which obviously will affect the range of movement from the output. Also has a built-in analog uh, white noise output. Next we have uh, this module here, which is actually made by Synthesis Technology. This is a repanel, a custom module that we built. Uh, it's a wavetable oscillator, so you have um, three banks uh, with uh, 64 waves in each one, and you can sort of morph through the uh, wavetables with a joystick here. That's how we sort of have it set up, reminiscent of the Prophet VS uh, wavetable selection process. Uh, next we have one of our production filters, which is based on the gristleizer filter design. Uh, made famous by Chris Carter from Throbbing Gristle. Um, it's a combination filter, uh, VCF, VCA, so you can do filtering effects like wah um, or filter sweeps, uh, as well as tremolo type effects with the VCA. You have a wide range LFO built in and different wave shapes here. Um, we've added some CV control over bias uh, and over the frequency and also put an input and output uh, to either use the internal LFO to control something else or to have it be controlled by an external LFO. Over here is the Polyvox VCF or the AC Vox VCF, which is our clone of the uh, Russian synthesizer. Here's the original. Here's our uh, PCB here of the v of the Vox VCF, and you can see here that uh, features all the original Russian components uh, that we sourced from the Eastern Bloc, including the transistor, the important transistor here. Uh, it's very drivey, very aggressive sounding. Um, here we can listen to that for a second. So it's an aggressive self-oscillating filter. Uh, next over here we have a four-channel uh, attack release or AR, also called a trapezoid envelope generator, uh, times four in one unit, so it's uh, economical. The circuit is designed by Hex Inverter, um, who also makes Euro modules, uh, and we make a 5U version of this. Uh, also, channels one and channel three have a little pull switch here, uh, which will give you a negative response. So instead of being a positive slope, it's a negative slope. Um, so you can do negative trapezoids uh, for closing filters instead of opening them, uh, which can be useful depending on what you use it for. Um, this module here is a custom module uh, that's a VCA, it's a tube-based VCA, so it uses a small Russian tube uh, in the back. Uh, it's a three-channel mixer with a CV input. You can also use it as a wave shaper uh, by turning you know, the initial volume all the way up and just adds an extra little bit of drive and shaping, which is really hard to hear in all of this noise. But anyway, that's what that guy is. Down here, this is called the Bypass Mute Send Return, or the ACBMSR. What it allows you to do uh, is have various inputs go to various outputs. So it's particularly useful if you have one oscillator and a bunch of filters and you want to audition what the filter, what different filters will sound like. Uh, so you can select them here. Uh, right now, I'm going to turn this back up. So that's the Polyvox. I can mute that. This is the Gristleizer now. I can turn that on and off with the switch. Or I can turn both filters on. So that's useful. We 
also have it hooked up here to our 500 series single, which is up top. Um, so I can basically use it like a console send return, where I'm sending it to this effect here. This is this is out. This is in. So that helps you integrate, uh, you know, external effects processors. You know, if you have a rack mount effect, if you have a guitar pedal, something you want to bring into the module, you can do it that way. Um, this is a module that we custom built 16 of. Uh, it's made by 4MS, the circuit. It's the uh, shuffling clock multiplier and the rotating clock divider. And it has some breakout features here, which allow you to uh, use the different multiplication steps uh, with different patterns. It has a tap tempo button. Um, as you can see, it has a pulse width, so you can change the width of the output gates. You can use it to gate an envelope. You can use it to drive a sequencer, like that's how we're using it now. Uh, and then the two sequencers we can, we have hooked up to this machine here, which is a difference rectifier and a neural computer. And what that means is that you have, essentially, if you have a positive voltage, it makes it negative. If you have a negative voltage, it makes it positive. And then it feeds into the neural computer, which allows you to set a threshold and an amount of offset to add or subtract from it. So... <laughs> So it's really good at making insect bird noises. And then next to that uh, is a Buchla clone 258 dual oscillator, uh, which is a really nice analog oscillator, and that's what you're just hearing, uh, FMing itself, being controlled by the two random looping sequencers. And then this is another new module that we're featuring here at NAM. It's a final output stage. Uh, Three-channel mixer with a Burr Brown op amp, so high-quality, low distortion op amp. Uh, a headphone output with a separate volume control. A quarter-inch output with a mutable switch. So, as if you're a DJ, you know, and you're like previewing something in your headphones. Um, you don't want it to go out to the house yet. You want to audition it first. So you can do that with just hit the mute, and then when you get it lined up, you can send it through. And it also has uh, a balanced output transformer, just like a DI. Uh, it features a uh, high-quality Cinemag DI made in the USA. Uh, all our stuff, of course, made in the USA, uh, Austin, Massachusetts. Thanks so much for your time. <laughs>